morning and welcome to Beebly News. I am Susie News. Today we cross live to an unfolding traffic situation down on Australia's south coast. Marsh, can you tell us the latest? Uh, hey Susie News, it's actually just Meg here reporting live. Just Meg? Is that you? What on earth are you doing down there? <laughs> well, uh, you see there was a little issue with Marsh this morning, who was supposed to be on the traffic report. Um, something about not loving being in traffic jams all day. <laughs> who could blame? Thank you so much for taking your stuff down there, just make. Um, are you able to tell us what is currently going on? Well, it appears that everyone is actually heading down to the coast for some surfing contest. Apparently some big names are going to be there today, like uh, I've heard Surfer Steve's making an appearance, maybe even Boogie Boarder Brad, uh, but also narrator Nigel will be commentating the whole event. That sounds like an eventful morning, just me. We will be shortly checking in with our weather team as to the latest surf conditions for the contest. I also believe that we are trying to establish an image connection with you, just me, so please stay on the line. So just me, can you tell us why is there such traffic chaos? Well, there's actually only one way to get to the Farva Beach, Susie News, so that's where everyone's trying to go. Oh, thank you so much, Just Meg. Is there anything else that you can tell us at this stage? Oh, oh, I see something. Oh, Hello? there you are. Hello, Just Meg. Thank you for joining us. You can see me. That's fantastic. Well, not really, Suze. I'm, I'm just going to keep my eyes on the road to see if I can spot anyone. Um, but actually, do you know what is so crazy about this situation? It actually reminds me of a section in the Bible where Jesus is talking about how we can get to God. How does a surfing contest even come close to that idea, Just Meg? Well, you see, in John chapter 14, Jesus is actually talking with his disciples uh, about what's going to happen to him in the next couple of chapters. And he says in verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Without me, no one can go to the Father. Hey, <laughs> that kind of sounds like Father Beach, if you know what I mean, Suze. Okay, I must say that is a very loose connection. But what does Jesus mean here? He's actually telling us here that even though we might think that there are multiple things or ways that we can get to God or be friends with him, uh, like doing the right thing or achieving something or following specific rules, the only way that we can actually get to God and be friends with him is through Jesus. Because Jesus is God and made a way to save us when he died on the cross and came back to life again. He is the only way to God, isn't he? You know, that makes sense. Because his death was so significant, it brought, you know, a lot of glory to God. So all we need to do then, I guess, is believe in Jesus, that he died for us and that we can get to God through him. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us whoa, on the whoa, web. Whoa, hold on, stop. <laughs> Firstly, you know, don't kill me air time. Gotta love a bit of traffic. Uh, but also, I'm not finished. Sorry, just Meg. It's just usually that we don't give this much time to the traffic, that's all. I mean, that's fair, but what I'm about to say is pretty important, you know. Uh, so as I was saying, Jesus goes on to tell us uh, that we should be doing more than just believing in him. Uh, we should love him and follow the things that he tells us to do. You see, some people only believe in Jesus because it's the way to achieve, you know, getting into heaven and escaping death, all those things. But in actual fact, we should put our love for God and want to follow him above all of these things because living with God is just an added bonus to our friendship with him. Oi, hey, have you seen Surfer Steve? No? Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Wow, well, I've never thought about that before. So, should we be loving God and following what he tells us to do? Absolutely, because, you know, God knows what's best for us and loves us so much, so we can absolutely trust him with all this. Wow, just make that is quite a lot of things to remember, but... How can we possibly do that without any help? Well, to be honest, we can't really, Suze. It is a whole lot of stuff to remember. Uh, but God has actually given us someone to help. Uh, Jesus says in verses 15 to 17, If you love me, you will do as I command. Then I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit, who will help you and always be with you. The Spirit will show you what is true. So Jesus is obviously talking about the Holy Spirit, who is also fully God and lives inside of us and helps us to remember that Jesus is the only way to God and that we should be loving him and following what he says above everything else. Wow, that sounds like a great helper indeed, Just Meg. Thank you so much, Just Meg, for joining us. Thanks so much, Suze. We'll keep you informed as to the traffic. You are watching BB News. Please stay with us. Have you seen Boogie Border Brad? These people.